We just released our second Edgewonk November update in 2021 and while we're preparing another update for you very soon where we're going to release support for new brokers and new platforms so that you can easily import your trades into Edgewonk, I will show you the new backtester that we have just released. And the idea of the backtester is that you can easily backtest trading ideas, strategy ideas and keep your data and your ideas in Edgewonk. Since we started Edgewonk, the goal of Edgewonk has always been to be a one-stop shop for everything that you need in your trading. Of course, we have our heart and at the core of Edgewonk is the journal. We have a lot of analytics and over 10 different charts uh, where you can visualize your trading performance. With a notebook, you have something that you could use as your trading diary, so you can keep a written journal as well. You have a chart book where you can add all your trading screenshots, sessions where you can analyze your trading sessions and keep track of very important findings. You can even journal your missed trades, so trades that you haven't taken. And now with the backtester, you can also journal backtested trading strategies and have everything in one place. So how you do that is first we need to add a new backtest and then you can see this opens up. You have a field for information and here you track the results. So under information, we would recommend to write down certain things that would help you to later understand what you have backtested. For example, you could start with a strategy idea. Just write a sentence or two so that when you come back to the backtest, you easily know what you are actually backtesting. You could write down your notes for entries, stop loss placement targets and management as well here so that later you can understand how you actually approached it. Write down the timeframes that you tested, the period that you tested, the market or the markets that you tested as well. And one thing that is very helpful in the back test is that you can track two different outcomes. So you may, for example, test a trading strategy for a breakout. And for the breakout, you could immediately track two different outcomes. For example, so what would happen if you have a certain stop loss approach? Then this would be outcome one. And you also track a different stop loss approach, for example, a tighter or a wider stop loss or a trailing stop loss, so that you can immediately compare two different scenarios while tracking your back test. You could, for example, set up your screens like that. On the left, you have Edgewonk with the backtest open. On the right, you have your trading view or whatever platform you use open. And then you can just go through your trades on the right and then capture the outcome here on the left very easily. For example, the outcome, you could track it in terms of our multiple, in terms of potential a dollar or account currency or percentage gain or loss. That's really up to you. We didn't want to post any restrictions on you. So you can use any unit that you use. For example, let's assume you test an R multiple based approach. So for the first trade, if it was a winner, you type two. If you're testing a two to one reward to risk ratio for the outcome two, maybe it wasn't as good and you only had 1.5 and then you can keep track of all your trades. You can very easily just skip through those fields with a tab on your keyboard so that you don't have to always reselect it. And you can see this is then how you could approach your uh, backtest very easily, enter your trading results, and then on the right, you will see that this account graph and the curve will update. Now you can see we've entered 10 backtested trades. The graph has updated on the right side. At the bottom, you'll see a brief um, breakdown on your statistics. How many trades were you backtesting? How many winners, losers, break-even trades? What is the win rate of outcome one versus outcome two? And then you can see also the sum of outcome one and also outcome two. You can hide specific uh, graphs if you want to take a deeper look. If you want to trade more than 10 trades on your backtest, you can add new rows here with the plus icon and then you can see new rows appear and then you can keep track of your backtest. So this is version one of the backtest. You can obviously add more, but over the time we will add new features and improve this feature in Edge Wonk. For example, you may be able to add your screenshots to a backtest in the future because you can't do that now. What we could recommend is you go to your notebook, you add a new note, and then you can keep track of what were you actually tracking. For example, backtest one, and then you can capture some notes, you add your images, and then and this is how you can integrate everything in your Edgewonk journal. We hope you enjoyed the new update. Stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe for more updates coming, especially more broker integrations and more support for different trading platforms in the future. Until then, happy journaling.